Today's wig is brought to you by Hair So Fly Shop. I'll be sure to leave the link below to this wig and also their direct store. Here is the wig straight out of the package. It's a short wig. The shine on this wig is a bit shiny, but you can zip it down if you want. It comes with Swiss lace. The parting is on the right side. You get two combs in the front by the temple. You also get another comb in the back with your adjustable straps. This is how the parting come. I'm definitely going to pluck that some more. But then I noticed it came with baby hairs. Not only that, this was the thickest baby hairs. Or I don't I think it's supposed to be baby hairs that I ever seen on a wig. But I'm not going to use them. I'm just gonna leave it alone. <laughs> This wig. There's the stock card. So the brand of the wig is sensational. I have it in style Kylie in the color four. It is curling iron safe up to 400 degrees. And it do have a deep handmade curved part. so pretty like what's wrong with mine let's see let's see what i'm doing wrong maybe i'm doing something wrong i'm gonna do that and i'll do that That's a little better. I also like this little curve thing right here. But okay, I kinda gotta look at something like the models now. Cause I'm like, what is going on? She, it looked like she also added the baby hairs, but eh, I'm not gonna do that. I really feel like you could see it if I add it. Well, you probably can, but I don't wanna add it. But anyway, so now that I got my end results, I don't know. I don't feel too hot in this wig. This wig is not ugly. I just don't feel so hot in it. Like, I'm not ugly in it. I just don't feel so hot, though. Like, well, I must say, this right here serves zero purpose for me. It's cute on the model especially with the color she have but with this color it is serving zero purpose for me honestly so i'm just gonna cut it okay so now that i cut that little long piece i like the wig way more actually i just might even give you guys like a 360 view after the cut so let me show you real quick Pew, pew. all right so 
this is how it looks now it actually reminds me of my natural hair when I get it like um washed a wash and set blow it out and like straighten and all that it's actually the same color as my hair it's like a brown undertone but kind of dark at the same time kind of a number four basically so this is how my real hair actually looks but that's the reason why i like it way more after i cut that because at first it was just like something is wrong with this wig i couldn't figure it out I was trying to get my sister to look like the models, blah, 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 blah. But anyway, y'all here for the wigs. So, like I said, after I cut this, I actually like it way more. It reminds me of my natural hair, but I could just wear my natural hair like this. But hey, if I don't feel like using all that heat and I want to have a natural hair day, I could always whip this out. It's really nice. It has body. The luster is nice. It looks like I just got my hair done. As for tingling, I got zero tingling. As for shedding... Um, I wasn't paying too much to the shedding, so I'm not even sure. I'm really not even sure how much shedding I got, but I did do a lot of plucking. Well, not too much plucking, actually. It's like medium. That's the parting. I applied my MAC Mineral Powder in the shade NW45. Like, as for the size on this wig... It's pretty snug. If you have a big head, you get away with it. The material does stretch. Hmm. And that's it. So that's pretty much my show and tell. <laughs> so let me know what you think, you guys. And then see you guys in my next video. Later.